Look at those guns! Welcome to the gun show! Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I am wiped. <laughs> my my eyeballs still kind of hurt. Yeah. I did get on the scale this morning, um, and I am like 155, which is which is great. Right. Um. <sighs> I, we're down like a pound and a half from yesterday. I think it's just from crying. I think it's water weight. <laughs> I think it's water. Like we've lost all water weight. There is no water in our body, but that's okay. So um, last night though, before I went to bed, I was hungry. And between you and I, we ate half we had, ate of a, half a roast. We ate a roast in a sitting. Yeah. Um, we, were, we were hungry. Yeah, we didn't eat during the day. There just was no time to eat. You know, the... the, the, the few five minute breaks for videos was literally run to the bathroom but you didn't want to miss it because I had to be make sure I was in there because you had to hit a certain button to turn the mics back on and Rachel was afraid to touch anything. I was afraid to touch anything and I thought I was I was looking back after we had our interview with Steve mm -hmm. from Serious Keto. We, we That was the only snafu where I hit the wrong button. But we had to go to the potty so badly. Like, I could have talked to him all day long, but I was like, oh my goodness, we, we got to go like right now. And, yeah. so, and you can tell the intensity on our face because you push the button and we're like, oh, you know, yeah. we, we had to go so badly. <laughs> so yeah, that was the only time where I, I'm really thankful. And then when I threw that junk water that they're labeling as that'll teach you right i know so. don't act the fool um i i just i wanted to say thank you to everybody who joined us it's not even about the donations the donations to the wounded warrior project or whatever veterans organization amazing that you want to support is amazing but just being there was amazing we were so worried as we were planning the event, especially on Tuesday and Wednesday, where Rachel spent like all day Wednesday writing an outline because she was like, we're going to have a lot of downtime. We're going to have a That's lot of what time I was afraid of. where nobody's going to chat in the chat and we're going to be like, oh, what are we now what talk do we about? talk about? And it, it never came up. It never happened. And, you know, though... It was a veterans live stream. This is a keto community. And I, I mean, several times throughout the day, I said, like, if you guys have keto questions, feel free to ask them. And you guys as a community so honored the veterans. It was just all about the veterans, it, which I think was important. It was important. And we were, and we're happy to, like, anytime we live stream, if you have a keto question, you ask it. And if we see it, we will answer it unless it's something where we feel it's like too much of a medical opinion type right. of question. And, you know, we can't, but we can always try to refer you to the right people. But we just want to say thank you for honoring the veterans, for respecting the day. It, it was an emotional day. At least for me, it was an emotional day. Uh, it raised a lot of awareness for me. And honestly, we didn't go to bed for like four more hours we, afterwards we were like we're so too, excited like excited about the entire day so thank you to everybody uh last tally we're waiting for all the numbers to come in from youtube so that we can then transfer money over but we're nearly $9,500 $9, right around 9500 dollars, which is again, that is what you have done our goal that was like amazing. a thousand if we could do a thousand that would be like good right if we just did a thousand i feel like this is a great opportunity for us all to get our hopes up, to get our expectations up. I think that 
for myself, I set myself at like a thousand dollar level of expectation and belief. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I can accomplish something, whether it is staying on track, whether it is, you know, getting my fitness in, whether it is doing the best I can at work. I think, well, this is all I'm capable of. And I think that this is a good time to, to say to ourselves, we can do more. Yeah. We can set it up. Like, you know, we will rise to the, the challenge of this. Yeah. So, so don't, you know, if, if you have a low expectation in yourself, like now is the time to, to believe for, for good things, for, for better things and to be encouraged. Yeah. I think in the past, it just, that's how I always felt. Like when you are always constantly in a cycle of, of having some small measure of success and then failure because you're yo-yo dieting for so long, you stop believing in yourself as a person. Yep. You stop believing that you can accomplish things and that you're somebody to put faith in. Yeah. Put some faith in yourself. I was further inspired this morning when I got up and there was a message from somebody who won one of the giveaways and said, I want to thank you because I've been doing keto and I was going to quit. I found you guys about a month ago and I was going to quit until I found you, but you've kept me going and my thyroid issues have reversed and and I'm like, that's what this is all about. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. like, and I, I woke up, I read that to Rachel and I said, that's what this is about. If we can impact one person, yes. if one person improves their health, if one person gets to be around for their grandchildren, it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it. It's, it's the life of one. Yeah. So today is mm -hmm. November 12th. It's mm -hmm. the next day. So, so my prayer is somehow can we bless one person today that's that's what my hope is i probably that mean that it's actually we're actually on day 12 i think we we yeah. sort of we're no no because november 1st we kept beef butter bacon and eggs yes. and did our lab so we are in day 11 but i'm not blessing anybody with this face <laughs> i i'm not i'm not helping anyone except for 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 them to get their fitness in for running from my face not what i expected what did you oh We've got keto so, chows. Yeah, right? we had made nine keto chows uh, in anticipation that, you know, we were only going to drink three piece, that, but it just, I make in batch of threes normally. So we made nine keto chows in the anticipation that we weren't going to be able to have time to eat. And mm. so it's kind of like, I know what I made. I made three strawberry, three caramel macchiato, and three chocolate mint, and I put them in the refrigerator. I got caramel macchiato. And figured I would play roulette. I made sure you got caramel macchiato. Mm. Um, really? Yes, I did. Thank you. Uh, and I thought I was grabbing a chocolate mint, and I grabbed strawberry. Not that strawberry's bad. I actually really like the strawberry one. But it's like one. when you drink but... something, but you're expecting a different flavor. Mm -hmm. It's it's. Have you ever picked up thinking that you have like a diet soda, and instead you got like a tea or something yeah. oh, that's yeah. not carbonated? Um, even worse. Think you're drinking uh, like iced tea, yeah. and it's peach tea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't, so <laughs> don't let me down like that. Okay. So on the agenda for today, this is going to be breakfast because number one, I'm not wasting the keto job. Right. Uh, and we're going to put some of them into creamy containers and stick them in the freezer. What is, what is, what's in this? It's, oh, each, each one of yeah. these had three tablespoons of butter and one egg. So that's why we need to put them in the freezer because I don't like letting raw eggs sit in there for too long. No. Uh, so it's been a day. So that's good. Um, so each one has three tablespoons of butter and a raw egg, and that makes each one roughly 500 calories, mm -hmm. if, you, if you're looking at calories. Uh, we don't count calories. We count grams of fat and grams of protein, um, because protein calories don't matter. Uh, but, so yeah, it makes it right around 500 calories. you got 70 calories for an egg, 300 calories for uh, three tablespoons of butter and each keto chow flavor, depending on the flavor is between 110 and 130 calories. So, uh, excited for the day. Um, do you have well, butter in my coffee? Uh, we have one tablespoon of butter in the coffee because okay. no egg or anything like that because it's in here. We're having this. And then if, if this wasn't strawberry, I would have poured some in my coffee. <laughs> don't and do I don't that. think I want strawberry flavored don't do coffee. It. You have a great flavor to pour in a coffee. I do. Um, so I have to go cut the church. It's raining out, but it needs to get cut. Then I'm going to come home and uh, 
do a little bit of work on the computer, but I, I want to keep my eyes away from the screen for a little while. Yeah. And then I'm going to crash. There is no football tonight. There is no football tomorrow. I'm planning on having a date evening with my wife. Well, first, I have a date with some ladies. There's you actually... a date? I have a hot date with some, some ladies. Oh. One of the ladies is actually in our Facebook family group, Barb Newton. Mm -hmm. She has... Uh, she had had a hospital stay this year. Um, she's been through all kinds of physical therapy and coming back. Like I, I got to see her walking in and out for the first time last weekend at church. And so we are celebrating um, by going out to dinner tonight uh, at five thirty. So I'm excited about that, and I think I'm gonna probably get me a, a steak. We're going to a a meaty place, of course. Um, and so I'm excited about that to, to have that opportunity to share the victory of her getting well and getting better and, and just enjoy life. So I changed my mind. I decided I wanted ice cream for breakfast for breakfast because so, we're an adult. So I poured my caramel macchiato into a creamy for another time, like a creamy container. And I went and got one of the ones that we rouletted. So let's see what flavor do I get? Salted caramel. This was a good decision. It's an interesting side effect from yesterday. My butt hurts. Specifically my left butt. It's like a sciatic pain and I know it's just from sitting so long yesterday, but it is very uncomfortable to ride this mower right now because it's like right where, you know, your thigh hits your butt cheek and it's like, it's right where the edge of the benches that we sit on, but it'll recover. Still happy we did yesterday. My oven came, although it's interesting that Federal Express decided to drop it off like this. Like, why not put it on the ground? Why is it leaning on a chair? I have a present for you. You do? What is this? Oh, I can see who sent it. <sighs> well, oh my goodness. I ordered it. We had some like, coupons with them like a bunch I of free coupons. I wish you smell it. Smell it as I open that. Ooh, that smells so good. Wow. I don't even remember what flavor I bought. I just, I had like enough rewards to get a free bag. Ooh. I think I got, I don't know, did I buy one or two free bags? Irish cream. I think I know the keto chow that we should pair with this. What do you think? Yeah. Oh I yeah, there was just two bags of the same one. Is it the both? Yeah. It smells so stinking good. Oh, yes. Okay, so you got to see something. Super creepy. My oven is at the front door. You got to go see how Federal Express dropped it off. What's oh. the lens? Look. <laughs> if it fell, it would probably... With a glass front door? I mean, I can get it, but... Pretty bad. It's like 55 pounds, Look but... At this. Look at those guns! Welcome to the gun show. Where do you want this thing? Just put it here. I'll have to take it out of the box. Can't wait for this unboxing. Oh, that is a primo gift. Merry Christmas, Joe, from me to you. I am pretty impressed. You are? Yeah, because I left the house and I just wanted to get my work done. My nose is kind of bothering me, I think because it's like weird temperature outside. And we also had the house at 60 degrees yesterday. True that. Uh, I didn't finish my coffee and I cannot believe you didn't drink my coffee. Well, here's what happened. I went over to my mom's house okay. to enjoy coffee. So I, you know, sitting at her recliner, I, w I wasn't concerned. When does it ever bother you? Look at, look at Tabitha, like, can I have my toy? She's very upset with me because I, pulled a set of pliers sharp pliers out of her um where did she get pliers? cage she uh surfed your desk yesterday while we were distracted yeah look at this it took a lot of making nice with her again because she was very upset i took it from her she is tearing apart that thing alexa pause what are you doing how does everything get everywhere and we clean every single day. <laughs> like, I, I feel like we're disgusting. There's a lot of coffee grounds, and I guess that just kind of comes 
Well, yeah, scooping it out of the container and all that kind but of it's stuff. Just, it bugs me. I have another thing we need to do. Yeah. You don't have to do it now, though. So we have our toaster oven over there. Uh huh. That's this, which is pretty good. But I'm gonna want to sell that on offer up. Nobody's gonna buy it the way it looks right now. <laughs> no, we need to clean that. So we need to clean it and, like, you know, just basically, you know, you get that stuff that builds up inside of it. But I we'll also, get some money for it on, you know, offer up. That's how we're able to get new appliances is we sell the old ones. Speaking of selling the old ones, I cleaned up the dehydrator because okay. we don't use that as much. We usually make beef jerky now on the smoker. Right. So I think that needs to be added to the offer up stuff so that we can afford the new appliance that you got. Wow. Well, hello. Look at you. Thank you. Ooh, Tabitha thinks it's pretty too. Um, yeah, so I am going out to eat with my friend who is finally on the mend. I'm so excited about that. And some other ladies from church. But I thought it was important for us to have a little public service announcement. Okay, so as you can see, I am no longer the mayor of Boobtown. <laughs> there is a new mayor in Boobtown. When we started keto, I was a double D. Double D. But here's the thing, boobs are fat, right? That's, That's mostly right. what they're comprised of. And sadly, you don't get to decide where the fat comes off from. So I would love to fill out this dress like Marilyn instead of Audrey, but that's what it is. So I've just got to learn to like my body the way it's healing. So you're going out for a steak dinner? No. What do you mean no? They have steak. They do have steak, but I'm definitely going out for a hamburger because the steaks at this place, it's like $40 for an eight ounce sirloin. Okay, well, okay, there's a problem with that. First of all, $40 for a steak is just silly. Yeah. Except for that's like where we're headed towards just buying it in the grocery store. But let's just make a little mental note here. Only a carnivore or a ketivore is going to say, an eight ounce steak, that's too small, right? It definitely is. And especially when I know I could go to Texas Day Brazil for $50 and have unlimited. Unlimited, meat. right. And they come with a bunch of sides. And I'm sure that, I mean, they have three different types of mashed potatoes at this place because they're very fancy, artisanal mashed potatoes you know it's like macaroni and cheese that they're serving that's supposed to be extra bougie macaroni right. and cheese but that's not for me and i don't want to have to buy a steak that they don't sell a la carte because i right. checked they don't have an a la carte option so i don't want to have a bunch of you know money spent right and then i get this much on my plate i look weirder <laughs> so i am going to get the 20 dollar hamburger they have a brisket hamburger okay so i feel like a hamburger and brisket on my plate even without a bun i don't look strange with my friends um i can enjoy that i know i will will like that and i can just say all right for 15 dollars I won't get a side. I'm paying for a side that I'm not going to eat. Right. I am not going to pay $6 for a substitution of a couple of asparagus spears. It's right. not that important to me right. to have a vegetable or to have a side tonight. So um, I'm there for the conversation. I'm there for the friendship. So I could intermittent fast this meal. Like I'm not, you know, opposed to fasting. But there's sometimes, especially going out to dinner, I don't want to be sitting there with a glass of water right. with my friends having dinner and make them feel awkward. Like, oh no, maybe I chose the wrong restaurant for Rachel. Yeah. So we can make it work. $20, I feel like is not unreasonable and we're going to have a good time. Now, I do want to say, it's not that there's anything wrong with vegetables. No. I just don't want them right now. And I know Rachel doesn't really want them right now. But the problem is, is in the past, we've always been taught... Your plate should be mostly vegetables and a little bit of meat. That's the standard American diet. Yeah. And I think we did that because, of course, everybody says red meat's bad for you, which it's not. We just did really well only eating red meat. But, you know, the thing is, is that it's not as filling. Those vegetables, for me, it was there to fill you up, but then you're hungry later because, like, you didn't have all that protein. So that's why I say, like, when you say, like, only a ketovore or a carnivore is going to say eight ounces isn't enough. 
but you're not having any of the vegetables. It's not like we're never gonna have vegetables again, but for me, when I do have vegetables, I want my plate to be mostly meat and just a little bit of vegetables. Like if we go out to Texas Roadhouse and it comes with broccoli, I'm fine with that because I'm getting a 16 ounce prime rib and it comes with a bowl of broccoli. I'm fine with that. But I don't want a plate of broccoli with a six ounce prime rib. Well, if it came with vegetables, I, you know, as an option, I'd probably be fine, but it's $6 for the substitution. So I don't want to pay $6 for the privilege of having a couple of asparagus right. ears, just so that I could say I have a side. That's not that important to me. Since Rachel went out to eat, I'm kind of left to fend for myself for dinner, which isn't a big deal because I love to cook and I usually do all the cooking. What I'm not used to is eating by myself for dinner. I really enjoy eating dinner with Rachel. And since she's not here, I'm going to keep it really simple so I can keep working on videos. And I'm going to make a bunch of bacon. I've got this bacon here and some eggs. And I think while the grill is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and unbox my new toy. Rachel already moved the old uh, toaster oven out of the way. Now, I just have to find a pair of scissors because my scissors love to disappear. So this thing is actually not light. It weighs about 55 pounds. You may have to move it down on the floor and see what we have. Got a couple of racks. Uh, we got a baking tray. Put that off to the side. Temperature probe. Instructions. Some kind of piece of plastic. A uh, lid for what I assume is the water tank. It's not really wider than I thought it was, but it's definitely deeper. Let's go ahead and put this over where it's gonna go. Okay. I believe this is the drip tray. Yep. The water tank on which I need to get distilled water. Put this in. Ooh, I like that. So it's definitely bigger inside than I thought it was, uh, which is a good thing because you're supposed to be able to put a chicken in there or even a small turkey. I really am happy with the stainless steel. That means it's gonna be much easier to clean. We do have a convection fan in the back. Uh, a couple temperature probes, heating element on top, heating element on bottom. Here's for a probe. You got your uh, sensors in the back. Pretty excited. Let's go ahead and finish setting this thing up. Now I did purchase this separately. This is like a venting one, so you can put food on here and it's gonna crisp from the bottom too because it can act as an air fryer as well. So we'll go ahead and put that inside. Okay, Blackstone should be nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and put all the bacon on. I'm not gonna eat all this bacon right now, but it's been out of the freezer for a couple of days and I don't want it to go bad. So we're just gonna cook it all up. And then I actually have these. I bought this on Amazon. It's like a hamburger press or even a bacon press. And I like to put it on there to keep the bacon from curling up. It gets crispier that way. At least I think so. I might have a second one for right here. Let that cook up. So if you're wondering what this is, this is the Anova Precision Oven. And what makes it different than most of your countertop ovens is not only is it a convection oven that can do everything your normal countertop oven can do, like toasting or baking or convection or air frying, but it's also a steam oven and a sous vide oven. So what that means is you can cook in steam because most of your food is actually water anyway. So you can put in vegetables in there 
or if we were eating starchy things, you could put your starchy things in there. But you can also cook things like chicken and stuff that doesn't have a skin or a steak or something like that. And you can set it to 100% humidity and it becomes a sous vide oven, but you don't have to put it into a bag and then put it in a water bath because it's gonna do everything in here. And then for example, if you're gonna make a steak or something like that, you can cook it in sous vide mode. And then when you're done, you can turn it over to the convection mode to get your sear on the top and the bottom. So I'm really excited about this thing. I'm hoping it works really, really well. It was a little expensive. I'll put a link for it down below. They are having a big Black Friday sale right now, which is why I got it. And then we're gonna sell our old uh, Breville oven. Now I need to look online and figure out how to use this oven. Let's go ahead and check on this bacon. Smells delicious. Take that off. Yes, it's hot, but I'm used to it because I can't really feel in my fingertips anyway. Perfect. You see how I have in that press on there? It doesn't really curl up. But as soon as I flip it over, it's going to curl, so I'm going to put the press back on. Wow, my eyes are kind of red. My nose is burning from my allergies. But I know one thing is by tomorrow morning, it'll be completely gone. Uh, so this precision oven is actually Wi-Fi connected. So I need to connect it to my phone. The only thing is I have to look because some of these things only connect to 2.4G. And we have the Orbi Wi-Fi system in the house, and that does not allow you to separate your 2.4G from your 5G. So that becomes a pain because like my phone is probably connected to the 5, which makes it a little bit more difficult. I have to like disconnect things, go outside to where it's only going to pick up the 2.4, then come back inside. So I'm hoping that this can connect to both. But a lot of the settings can be controlled from your phone, which is what I'm really excited about. In fact, there's extra things and recipes and stuff like that on there. But I'm going to have to figure out how to use this before anybody else tries to use it. And I think what we're going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of cooking on it, use it for a couple of days, and then we'll do a review on it. And I'll let you know whether or not it's worth it. Uh, Rachel is still gone. And I think what I'm going to do is try to convince her. She said she wanted to test like a full chicken on herself. And we were going to rotisserie one. But maybe I can convince her to go to the store tomorrow with me to Sam's Club and get a couple of chickens. We can rotisserie one and then cook one in there because when we had Steve from Serious Keto on our live stream for 11 on 11, he was talking about he has the Cuisinart um, steam oven and he said it makes the most incredible chicken with like really crispy skin, but the chicken is nice and juicy. And that's one of the problems when you cook a chicken in your regular oven because you have like hot spots. And the temperature can really change and you're cooking in a dry heat. Whereas this, you're cooking in humidity from the chicken and then you also have the water tank to put it in more. So it's supposed to be able to keep that chicken super juicy. And then at the very end, you can get the skin really, really crispy. So hopefully Rachel will go for that. Let's go ahead and check on that bacon. It smells really good. You may be wondering why am I not cooking the bacon on the Blackstone outside? Cause I'm out of propane and I need to go to the store and get some more. I don't mind cooking bacon inside on the electric Blackstone because of the lid and the grease doesn't splatter. But I would not be doing it if I was just doing it on a frying pan. Then I'd probably just do it in the oven. That looks actually perfect to me. Go ahead and take these off. The Hungry Horde is on right now. I want to go watch that. If you are wondering what this is, if maybe you're new to our channel, this is the electric Blackstone. I found it at Walmart. We are not sponsored by them. They didn't give it to us. I purchased it on my own. I'm just in love with it because it makes things so easy. We don't have to use the electric cooktop over on the other side, the main stove. I don't have to worry about like pans. It cleans super easy. It cooks our eggs and our bacon perfectly. It's basically having a Blackstone inside instead of outside, but I still love the outside Blackstone because it is cast iron. But if I'm just doing a little thing, sometimes I just want to do it inside. Man, I don't want to go outside. Also, I don't like collecting the bacon grease off of the outside Blackstone because it's kind of black. It's not as clean as cooking it in here on this one. But I'll leave a link for it down below. Again, the only place I know of right now that sells it legitimately is Walmart. It's about $117. So I'll leave a link down below. Okay, Blackstone to the temperature I want. So we're going to just take this. Half a tablespoon of butter. Spread that around. Yes, I know I'm using my fingers. And we're gonna take a bunch of Redmond, put it on there. 
And then my eggs. Again, doing this with one hand, a little bit more of a pain in the neck, but trying a video. Now, we'll close it up and we can cook perfect eggs since I don't have to make any for Rachel. I forgot about my eggs. They're kind of overcooked now, but that's okay. A little more salt. Turn this off. And get a plate. Now I'm gonna eat while I watch The Hungry Horde. So I finished my dinner, still waiting for Rachel to get home. And uh, we made some creamies this morning, or at least poured all the keto chow we had made for the live stream into creamy containers because there was egg in it. So I wanted to freeze it so that we can turn it into ice cream. And there was a little bit of caramel macchiato left over that didn't fit into the creamy containers. So I'm gonna drink this a little bit. Up, oh, Rachel's home. Hello. Oh. I didn't even hear you walk in the door. I just spent $25 on this much, like it wasn't, it wasn't brisket. It was roast, burger. it was no, it was roast beef. I actually thought it was the burger and then had the roast beef on top of it. It wasn't, it was, oh, it was the, called the prime. It was shaved prime rib. Okay. Miss food blogger. Yes. Did you take a picture? I did not. It was literally <laughs> this much. I'll tell you exactly what it looked like. It was this much prime rib, which was delicious, except for it was like a tease, right? And then a pickle spear. And, um, but what I did- Did you at least eat the pickle? I did eat the pickle. Good job. So I integrated a new ingredient, uh, a pickle spear. So it was like a fourth of a pickle. Caramel macchiato, you want to wash it down? Oh, yes. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> this already tastes better than my $25 dinner. Are you going to tell me about this thing? Is this like a water container? What is this? So Fish tank? Yes, it is a water container. It's a fish tank? So what we need to do, I need to get distilled water because we do have like really high calcium water. And you don't want to have to constantly descale this thing like we do with our, you know, like coffee machine. This thing is huge. It's not much wider, but it is deeper. But look wow. inside. So now, yeah, it's got these stainless steel things. They say, like, make sure you don't use them in other ovens because it could ruin it and then they won't work right in here. Mm -hmm. Same thing with these pans. You can use those pans and those pans only? Well, no, you can use other pans, but don't use these pans in, in your regular oven. Oh, okay. This one did not come with it. I bought that one separately. It was like 20 something dollars. But that one there, see how it's got the holes in it? So right. it'll make it like an air fryer. So now like it will crisp on the bottom as well. That's why I bought that one. Okay. This is the pan that it comes with. All right. But it's stainless steel. So if you were to use this in a regular oven, it could ruin it. At least that's the instructions say. And then it won't work right inside of this so oven. So we definitely need to put a sticker on this. Yeah. Well, I'll just tell my kids don't use it in the other oven. So what this thing is, is... It is a regular, like, countertop oven, mm -hmm. but it is also a convection oven. So you can see in the back, there's the fan in the back. Right. It's got three heating elements. Instead of normally you have one on the top, one on the side, it's got one on the side. It's got one on the bottom. Rather, one on the top, one in the back, one in the bottom. So depending on what type of cooking you want to use is which one you use. So if you want to do something very low and slow, you would use the bottom one. Mm -hmm. If you want to like get something really crispy, you would use the back or the top one. Huh. And then it's got the fan, but it also is a sous vide. Which is this part. Which is with that part. So that part will allow you to cook in humidity. So you can have 100% humidity. In it. So instead of putting our like, let's say you want to make a steak, instead of having to put it in a bag, you can put it on the pan, put it in there, set the temperature for 130 degrees, nah, uh, and it will cook in 100% humidity. It will cook the without steak the silicone bag. without the silicone bag. So it's the same kind of thing. Now it's still going to get that gray look, so then you still have to go sear it. But you can actually use this oven to sear it because now once you're done sous vide, you can turn on the crisper portion. What? And it will do all of that. I don't believe it. 
I, I need to see this. The reviews on it, it's been out for about a year, and the reviews are amazing. So, like, I'm not getting it when it came out a month ago. Well, I want to get a steak. That's the, that's honestly the very first thing, like, I want to try with it. I have a better idea. We'll what? talk about it in a minute. Put away your tissues. My, my toilet paper? <laughs> I am going to indulge in a great tasting Zevia. Ugh, it's grape. It's disgusting. Ugh, enjoy it, all you. Reminds me of being a kid. Grape soda? Oh yeah. Grape soda much? You didn't drink grape soda when you were a no, kid? No, because no. I Ew. had a horrible experience with grape soda once. I got sick in my car after having a grape soda. And you threw up grape soda? I threw up. That'd and be enough. I had a Chevy Cavalier. Ew. RS. It was like all souped up. And I threw up. And it was like in the crevices. Like this is when airbags first came out. Yeah. So you had like, the, there were all like the crevices and the horn and all that stuff. It took months to dig all that stuff out. I'm still trying to process that you had a Chevy because we're a Ford family. I know, but when I was growing up. We owned Chevys because there was a Chevy dealership right down the street and there was no local Ford dealer. Oh. And it's no excuse. When I was growing up, so Ford had a nickname. Found on Road Dead. Found on Road Dead. So Fix or replace daily. So the Fords, when I was growing up, Fords had a history of the engine would die, but the body lasted forever. forever hello we did have a chevy nova right and the chevy their engines run forever if the body fell apart but living in new york the bodies would all rust out and all that kind yeah. of stuff so here's what i was thinking you said you really would like to reincorporate chicken breast and see how do we react to chicken breast yes i would right mm -hmm. and you would like me to do a rotisserie chicken on the Kamado Joe. I really, we do have the, the rotisserie Joe. The really, Jotisserie is what it's called. Jotisserie. That's what it's called. I would really like that. So I have an idea. So I don't have any football tomorrow. Okay. Because we're off season. It's Saturday. It's going to be a relaxed day. She's so excited that we're home. I know. Um, she just loves like being like cradled in your armpit. Right? Look at this. She loves daddy's armpits. Yeah. Um, so here's what I was thinking. Let's go to Sam's Club. Okay. Let's get two chickens. Okay. Let's rotisserie one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And let's cook one in there. Because it's supposed to make the best tasting chicken. Like a whole chicken. Because of the we way it's see. cooking. And like it's one of the things it's known for. Because it will give you a very moist chicken. With a very crispy skin, which is your favorite part of a the chicken. The skin is the best part. So we can accomplish three different things in one day in one video. We can rotisserie a chicken on the Kamado Joe, which is something you've really I've wanted been to because you do. love rotisserie chicken. Yep. We could try out my new gadget. Okay, which is because we're going to do a review on it, but I'm not going to do a review until. After we've used it a little bit. I yeah. don't want to tell you. Like I'll put a link down below for getting it. Because First try. Because it's a Black Friday deal. So if you've been looking at them for a while. They have them on Black Friday right now. And it's like $85 off. That's a pretty good deal. Did you get the $85 off? Of course. It's me. Well, right? I'm, I'm glad like, to know this. <laughs> so it's like 15% off for Black Friday right now. Okay. And, and again, I'm going to sell the old one. And we're, we're selling our dehydrator because this will also dehydrate, by the way. Usually we have to sell first and then get the... I'm confident. I'm confident. So, um, and then we can also go ahead and test chicken. Okay. So we can do all of that. Because remember, even like Steve from Serious Keto, when he was on the 11 on 11 live stream, he was talking about, he said he has the poor man's version of this oven, right? He has oh. the Cuisinart steam oven, which is okay. smaller... And, but it, it's, it doesn't, that doesn't do sous vide, but it does cook in steam, which is one of the things that's going to make the chicken 
be really, really tender and moist inside. I am Without very... pumping it full of a bunch of, like, dextrose liquids and all that stuff. That's what I'm very interested like, in. Like, the Costco Sam's Club chickens. It's delicious. We like to get them once in a while. Hey, I don't feel like cooking. Grab one of those. But you know they're pumped full of stuff. They, it says it on the label. If you look on the ingredient label, it says there's dextrose in there. So no wonder those inflame us when we eat them. Right. We're eating sugar. They're delicious going down. And then we can also grab a couple steaks for maybe on Sunday. We could do a steak in there. But what do you think? Like, do you want to do chicken tomorrow? Because we've been I'm doing, in. we've been pretty much doing beef butter, bacon and egg, and keto chow since Tuesday. Well, we had we did have the Maria Emmerich pudding, but again, that didn't bother us. So everything that we've been eating for the last three days has been stuff that we know it doesn't bother us. Well, all I know is before we go to bed tonight, I'm I'm gonna need two eggs. You need two eggs. I'm gonna need two eggs. Okay. That was just not enough dinner. I figured. That I can't believe day. you spend twenty five dollars and you're just not even full. I enjoyed the company. That was what it was all about. Sometimes you well, just enjoy the company. Here's the thing. I'm gonna give you more than eggs. Because while you were gone, my dinner, because I didn't feel like... It's weird not eating with you. I, I like to eat with you. We don't eat all of our meals together, but I do enjoy eating dinner with you. Well, thank and, you. And so, like, I didn't want to make a whole bunch of hoopla for myself. Aww. So I just ate bacon and eggs. Okay. And we had that package of bacon, and it's been defrosted since, like, Tuesday, and I didn't want it to go bad. Did you make bacon? So I cooked all the bacon oh, up, so you can have a couple of yes. eggs and a couple of strips of bacon. Consolation bacon. Yeah. Does I that love feel it. good? Yes. Well, I think we're going to end the vlog right here, because you could have that, and let's go watch a movie. We haven't watched a movie together in weeks. We I'm try so to, but we get about five minutes in and fall asleep. We, we are at our best. It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. I feel like we can do I it. I have not been home on a Friday night at nine o'clock. It is nine o'clock in early three months. Enough. Right? That nine o'clock is not too late to watch a movie. We can do this. We can do this. Are you in? Are you jealous that everybody went to the the Friendsgiving, the Keto Friendsgiving? I really did want to go. Next year, um, that's got to get on the docket. Well, this weekend we're doing... The only thing that's consoling me is this weekend we're doing like food distribution. Oh, okay. At church. And that's so, true. Yeah. So I, I'm kind of... I love yeah. being a part of community Thanksgiving giveaways. It, right. There's just something so magical about like giving the turkeys out. One of our favorite things to do at our old church was remember they used to um, collect the turkeys and then we would volunteer to go drop them off. It was like the greatest thing to bring the, a the giant meal. turkey dinner yes. to somebody who is in need and they here you go. Here's all Somebody of it. has sponsored you. Right into and, your And home. here's an entire Thanksgiving dinner for you. I love like that. I loved doing that. Me so too. That is a consolation prize for not being there. But that yes. next year I definitely want to get on the schedule to go to that Friendsgiving. They're gonna move it around. So I definitely maybe maybe it That's won't be in, be in Tennessee next year. Maybe maybe we can get them to do it in Florida. Florida. Can we do something in Florida? We got Disney. We got Universal. We gotta we gotta use what we can to to draw people because we don't have the weather. No. We don't have the appropriate Thanksgiving weather. No. We don't got the leaves. We don't got the foliage. No. Okay. Well, enough about that. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be learned to it. I'm going to make my baby some eggs. Bye. Good night.